Hey guys. Well, let's talk about the bed. This is the beginnings of the bed. As you can see, this is just a standard piece of plywood. And um, back when I was building my old van last summer, I uh, drilled a whole bunch of holes into this thing. I don't know how many is here, a hundred? Something like that, a lot. Uh, the rationale behind that is that especially um, where I live in Vancouver BC it's very humid and as you can see there's no mold uh, or any moisture marks that you can see at all condensation mold everything and I had no problems with mold or moisture because the mattress can breathe because when you sleep um, your body emits a lot of heat and if the heat uh, hits something like metal or even solid plywood it's over time it's gonna create condensation and that's gonna create problems so by drilling the holes I uh, enabled the mattress to breathe underneath so that's the story of the holes um, you can see right here the bed barely fits. I mean, we got like maybe an inch and a half on that side, maybe an inch on that. So maybe three inches of of play all together between the two sides. And um, so in order to get it in, because the walls are curved and I got all this stuff in the way, you know, it's tricky to get in. So I cut it in half. Well, not in half. I cut like a maybe a quarter off the entire length and uh, then I bolted it in with some oak strips on the other side let's see if I can lift this thing whoa oak strips I bolted them in I'm gonna put some more screws in there just for extra caution but uh, oak is very it's a very stiff wood very uh, sturdy wood so it's going to be, this is just regular spruce plywood, and uh, or maybe it's pine, I'm not sure which one. But the, the oak really uh, anchors it strongly. The other thing I did was I um, took this piece of 2x4 I had in the van forever, and I painted it white, and I bolted it, well I didn't bolt it, I used really long screws. I don't know if I have any examples. Oh, there goes an orange longer than this but they're like wood screws and they're like probably two and a half inches long and they go right up through here and I put like probably eight of them or ten of them in there and that makes this really rigid so that way this serves two purposes number one it's going to stop the bed from going like that um, and number two it's going to keep the mattress from sliding off the bed um, so that's that purpose I think it's going to stop it from going like this, <laughs> concave, um, but over time I'll see if it uh, if it doesn't work and I'll make adjustments. But I know it'll work in, in the short term for sure. The reason behind that is I didn't want anything underneath to, uh, like I didn't want any legs or anything under here to block uh, access to a nice clear storage area. All right, operation, make the bed bigger. It's a little bit tight, people. So I'm adding this uh, board, which is five and a half inches. I'm gonna stick it in the corner. Let's see what happens, shall we? This is before the addition with my hack job attachment methods. Let's see what uh, shapes up to look like. This is what it looks like working in a van while you're living in it, people. There's my food, there's my bed. Good times. Putting screws in, people. 
screws. <laughs> Lots of them. This small, but you know, strike the numbers, right? this is turning out to be I just saw this piece in half and I think I had to saw through a bolt good thing I had my hacksaw blade down there but still wasn't easy so it folds like that I didn't even really intend to do that it just does it and I gotta put this as you can see I've done multiple holes already <laughs> And I'm gonna put this back on now that I know why it wasn't opening before. I thought, what the heck, man? Why isn't it opening? And I thought, oh yeah, that oak piece is there stopping it. Well, it's far from perfect. It's kind of what I would call a hack job. But it's there and it works. Gave me an extra five and a half inches of width. And you know what? I got lots of space in the van, so having a comfortable bed is important. So let's see if I can open this up and show you guys how it does without knocking stuff over. Okay, I can't do it like that. Like this. That pops open, I got a leg there. I should probably put another one in here in the middle. Right in there in the middle. And then this opens up even more like this. Now I have full access to my battery. And I said before about I didn't know what to put in that corner, but I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stick like uh, winter boots and um, I have some uh, vegan Doc Martin boots that I could put in there too that I very rarely wear. That's what I'm going to do. Stick some hardly ever worn boots in there. Alright, let's fold her back up. Bam. Now to put the mattress on. And I put these little L brackets in here. I'm probably going to add another one. One on each side. Just to stop it from sliding forward. And um, adding a bit more stability. But yeah, I should probably add a couple more on either side just for extra strength. I may just do that. Okay, here it is with the mattress in place. Um, like I mentioned, it's like a five and a half inch gap there now. So uh, now I just stuck my win my summer sleeping bag in there, and eventually I should probably put some extra foam in there to fill the gap. Kind of just an experimental stage right now to see how it goes. Uh, yeah, there we go. The sheet needs a good washing, good bleaching. Well, here's with the blanket on. Got my pillow under there, got my little cushion that I put behind my back. And then I put my pillow over it and it gives me a nice comfortable section to lie in. Something to lie in while I'm uh, lying in bed. So, um, that's it for the bed. I'm going to sleep on it tonight and uh, see how comfortable she is. And I'll probably, like I said, I'll probably have to stick something under that summer sleeping bag to fill that gap in. Well, looks good. Usually I sleep at an angle just because 
it's impossible with this uh, standard van to have a uh, I'm six feet tall and there's it's didn't really be able to bother me to sleep at an angle but before I made the bed wider it's just a little bit uncomfortable so if I move up here a bit I got like probably like four inches from my feet to the corner that's good I'm not hitting windshield wipers all right guys that's it for tonight uh, thanks for watching take care and have a good night